Looking Glass Factory has finally unveiled their newest product, and it's been many years since they released the original Looking Glass portrait. And this time they're delivering, for the first time ever, a high resolution holographic pocket sized display. And the product is called the Looking Glass Go. I released a video yesterday speculating on what I thought they were going to be releasing, and although I wasn't exactly accurate in my predictions, it's almost better than what I was thinking because of the fact that this is portable. It makes it so much more accessible to everyone, to anyone. What's so exciting about this is that unlike any other thing that I had imagined or their previous Looking Glass products, this is portable and double the 3D resolution of any product that they've released so far. Just look at the detail on this thing. The fact that it's so slim, has good holographic depth into their display and then also out of the display. That it's foldable, portable, you can fit it in your pocket. It completely opens up the door for 3D holographic displays like this to be carried around anywhere by anyone and enjoyed by anyone. It's also affordable, so it's starting just for the next roughly 48 hours. You have some discounted deals so you can get different packages to back the project. The actual Looking Glass Go is gonna start shipping in June 2024. They've already shared a lot of information about the display. You can see that it's got a very high pixel density, very high resolution, 3D depth looks nice, very thin. It has a attachable battery. So the one thing that I would argue is maybe a little bit disappointing about this product or release is the fact that it doesn't come with a battery that is built into the device, which basically means that when you're using it, on your desk or on your shelf, you have to have it plugged in so that it's charging, so that it'll stay on. It doesn't have a battery built in. And when you're out and about, you'll need that attachable battery that lasts for two hours at a time. You can buy multiple batteries, so you can swap them out and keep it going for more than two hours when you're on the go. It would be nice in the future if there's a way to include a battery to just make it like a smartphone, but I'm sure they really did their best to get this compact, beautiful, nice, portable display to jam all that holographic technology into it. This is probably the limit for what they could do at this point. Good news is you can download around a thousand holograms and store them on the display so that you have up to a thousand holograms, maybe even more at one time. It's compatible with Gaussian splats and nerfs. I'm not sure if it's fully compatible to the point where you can actually view the entire scene and um, manipulate every single angle you're viewing it from. From the demo images I've seen so far, it looks kind of like any other 3D image on their holographic display, so maybe you pick a certain angle and it kind of sticks to that angle, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it'll show you the whole holographic scene or there's another way to do that. The best thing about this display compared to any of the previous products is that it's more of a standalone device. It can use Wi-Fi to do a lot of things, like you can send over photos that you've taken on your phone to the Looking Glass Go. Uh, they'll be converted into 3D by their cloud application on the way, and then once it arrives on the Looking Glass Go, it'll just be in 3D to view as a hologram. You can download other people's holograms from their Glass.Blocks platform, where they have these blocks that are like the 2D representation of what they're doing with their 3D holograms, so that you can share your holographic output, all the holograms that you have with anybody on a 2D device, in kind of like a evolved GIF format. It's so cool that you're gonna be able to view your stuff in 3D on the Looking Glass Go, but then at the same time, share it with other people in this blocks format so that they can see sort of this holographic illusion on any 2D device. Their 2D to 3D AI algorithm conversion is actually pretty good. I've tested it multiple times in the past. I haven't actually viewed the output on a Looking Glass display. Other cool thing is it's gonna support 3D hologram chat buddies or chatbots combined with ChatGPT. So you could have like a language study buddy who helps you learn Japanese for example, there's more advanced things that are possible with the Looking Glass Go that you can do if you connect it to your laptop or your Mac. Even the latest MacBook Pros are compatible with the Looking Glass Go. You can convert your AI images and art generated on Midjourney and other AI art tools into 3D just like you can with your photos uh, taken on your smartphone. Looking Glass Factory has said that they're working on rolling out their own text prompts to generate 3D holograms from, from text prompts and display them directly on the Looking Glass Go, which would be awesome. The other super cool thing is that they said they're partnering with Luma AI so that you can view just directly from Luma AI's gallery the different Gaussian splats and those types of scenes and objects that people are posting or generating. So it'll have like basically native view support for Luma AI. If you've captured scenes, you will directly be able to view them on the Looking Glass Go, which is super, super exciting. I think this is a feature that should be on all holographic 3D display technology. This announcement makes me even more excited for the future of 3D technology, and I'm so happy that the Looking Glass Factory is delivering such a high resolution, portable, pocket-sized holographic device for the first time ever. They really weren't kidding when they suggested that memories are never gonna feel the same with this device. I think this is pretty game-changing, and it's already launched on Kickstarter. I just checked and within 
one hour and 40 minutes of their announcement, there are already over 260 people backing it. The listing price, the retail price for this Looking Glass Go is $360, but the price that they have it available is $249. So it's a really good deal. It comes with the actual Looking Glass Go, along with a portable attachable battery pack that supports a battery life of two hours, and then a little carrying pouch. There are other offers, you can go check that out on Kickstarter if you want. It comes in a white version and then a transparent or translucent case version. I would say if this sounds interesting to you, it's really not horribly expensive and it's discounted just for the first 48 hours of the, the initial announcement. I will certainly be making a video once I have the opportunity to see one in person or get my own and I hope you can look forward to that. I will do an extensive review covering everything you can do with it, how well it works, how good the 3D effect actually is for all the different things and use cases that are built into it and just overall as a product, how it is. But until then, I think there's enough information just to keep me satisfied for the time being. I'm excited just the fact that this is happening at all and I hope you are all excited too. I'm really looking forward to seeing 3D brought to everybody, brought to millions and millions of people in the next couple years. But it's so nice to see them finally release the culmination of all the research and all the work that they've done over the past 10 years or so. I think 2023 is gonna go down in history as the year that really kick-started the full mainstream 3D transformation of all of our devices. And I have high hopes for 2024. I think things are gonna get even more exciting and better from here on out. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be making more videos like this, introducing all the latest 3D tech and devices. I hope we can all get excited about a future that's going to be 3D holographic, more amazing and beautiful than ever before. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.